Welcome back to The Sims 4 Cottage Living Rags to Riches. I, I'm really excited to see all of this farm up and running now. Like, I can't wait till we can fill in the rest of these. And I think I decided what I'll do is I'll actually add a fifth row, which I was kind of tossing up before mainly because it didn't line up with this, but it's not that hard to move at all. Because then we can have, you know, one of each of the uh, oversized crops in each row. And I think that just kind of makes sense. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Instead of doing it, you know, this way, where it'd be like, aubergine, lettuce, what, you know, I think makes more sense in that row. Anyway, we'll get to that later. A um, couple other things that we're going to do is, uh, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Uh, the name on Hannibal is perfectly fine and spelled correctly. And I didn't change it just before I started recording or anything. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and the other thing is, I did not have my bike in my inventory at the start of last episode. You can go back and check at like 5 minutes 20, it wasn't there. Also, even though... You might say that my inventory was like this, so I couldn't actually see the last row. However, when you click on the ground and you have a bike in your inventory, it says bike here. And that did not appear at all until I went into cast and then it put the bike back in my inventory. So I was not wrong. I did not have the bike at the start of the episode, but it did appear after cast. Just gotta clear my name on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are also wanting to see maybe a little bit more interaction with Trenton instead of just having him do all the dirty work. So I guess we can talk to him. Uh, the other thing was, it was actually a good suggestion, was with the outhouse, was to just have the sink on the outside, which I think makes a lot of sense. And I believe this, yeah, this sink here is a perfect outdoorsy sink because it's got the, got the tap on the side of it. I mean, it's a big stone sink. It's kind of nice, but the big hose on the outside, I think, is great. So we're going to use that. That means we can go back to sizing it down. Actually, you know what? I still don't actually know if it works, if it's one tile. Uh, look, we'll try one tile. If the one tile doesn't work, we'll, we'll go uh, just like one by two. So we'll, we'll see how we go. Okay. Well, I can't even place that there apparently. So uh, <laughs> what is it intersecting with? Oh, is it the light? I think it actually might be the light. Yeah. Well, let's move this in. Okay. And the good news is I save a bunch of money by making this smaller too. So... Okay, here's what we're going to do. Okay, there's no way that door can actually open. At least not inward. The Sims always open doors in the direction they're going. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, but the door would have to open that way, which obviously doesn't make sense. But look, if it works, it works. If it also is the light, the light is lower than the door. So you would break the light bulb. Okay, I'll, okay, maybe we'll get a different light. This probably isn't even going to work, this room. But um, what about this one? Is this, oh, that's also lower than the door. All right, we'll just do the little spotlight. Look, let's see what happens. And then the idea is like this sink would be on the outside, which I think is a great idea. We might even move the outhouse. Oh, bunny. Yeah. Oh my God, I can pick it up. Yeah. What happens if I put it up here? And it's just floating. It, well, this looks really weird now though, doesn't it? I think this needs to be bigger. <laughs> that looks too big though. I don't know. None of these look particularly... Hmm. I feel like maybe it looked better as a two by two. Well, look, it probably won't work like this. So I'll go back to the larger size if this doesn't work anyway. All right, Trenton, come test the toilet, please. Chad, wait, it's 2 p.m., so I don't think we need to do anything. Uh, no, no, no watering is needed. Why don't you, whilst Trenton's testing that other thing, let's go talk to Patchy some more, because we do ideally want Patchy to come to life and start helping with the farm. Also, the other suggestion was that we could actually start a gardening club. I mean, it is a club, but use the club as people that will just come and garden for us. I, that's a, that's a really good idea, really good idea. I want to see if we, I don't think he was able to go in. I want to see if we can... Run this. Ew, someone didn't flush it. Well, that's actually, you know what, that seems about right for an outhouse. Um, okay, we're going to have to make this bigger. Yeah, I, I do like the idea of the club. However, I'd like to see if we can try this whole automated setup we got, we got going here. Because the rabbits weed, as we know, the birds will get the bugs. The sprinklers will do the watering. So then, in theory, we shouldn't actually have to do anything with these crops, except for harvest and if we want to fertilize them. Now, there's also been comments about using uh, bees from Seasons to help the plants. Although I don't know, but I don't think they would work with the oversized crops because these are a new type of plant that have different fertilization and different interactions. They would probably work if we had them in the greenhouse. Although I, I don't know if bees living inside a greenhouse, is that a thing that people do? That seems odd. But anyway, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, bees make a lot of sense in general. I think it might be nice to have them on the farm. Uh, so I'm just going to put a little bee box here for now. We might do something with that. Um, okay, so this little outhouse didn't work. We could either do, there's a couple options. We either do the one by two, because that would definitely work, or the two by two. I think the two by two is too big. So maybe the, the one by two, because I think that is a decent size. Oh, the roof looks so silly. Like, it, even like this, it looks kind of... 
<laughs> looks kind of dumb. Maybe it needs a bigger... No, that didn't help. Smaller? No. Mm. Oh, there was a comment really upset that there wasn't a window on this. Like, for ventilation purposes. Should we put one? Oh, that's a bit big. <laughs> and also it's on top of the window. Wait, no, I, I, that's what I was saying when I was... Oh, this is perfect, actually. This little wooden uh, hatch thing. That's what I was saying. Is like I wanted a door with a little moon in it. Because that would be, like, the ventilation, you know? Do we want to have two of these? Or is that... It was one. Fine. I just, I just like the look of it. So that's why I was like, maybe we can get one of this side, too. But then it kind of looks like it's taking off. Okay, maybe not. Maybe just a one. <laughs> I might do it on this side though. No, I'll do it on the other side because I'll do the sink on this side because I, I don't want the ventilation of the stinky smells coming right on top of where you're washing your hands. Now, we already have a hose here. I guess we could have also used this vent. Oh, you know what? Maybe this can go on the front. Maybe that'll help the front not look so silly. Eh, I don't know. It does something. Uh, I was like, we could... There is the, the hose. Like these. Probably doesn't make sense there though, does it? Oh, that too. Yeah. Now, he is a vent. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need that. Oh, yeah, that's a vent. That's what we need. Yeah, so there's this, but I guess it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense next to that hose. But we could have this, like, maybe by the back of the house. So, like, on the back door here. So maybe we can grab the hose out. Might also be useful to have one maybe over by the greenhouse, though. I don't... I guess would it be... Where would you put this? Where would a tap potentially be? Maybe just, like, on one of the window frame things? Although that window's open. Maybe on this one. I don't know. There's water in there, apparently. That makes sense. I mean, there's a lot of little details we can do. I'm not going to spend too much money on this stuff because obviously it's quite expensive at this point in time. We do not have a lot of money. Uh, let's go ahead and... Ch oh, no. Now I'm going to lose money on this light, aren't I? 40 bucks? Come on. And oh, Damn, I should have kept the other light. Because now it's going to cost me more money to put the same light that I already had back into here. All right, Trenton, you go. Use that. Oh, you could also flush it if you wanted. And then we're going to need to do more terrain painting and... and bushes and, and all that kind of stuff but I think that as a little loud house is beautiful look at that that's better I think it's a better size too also I feel like we should probably like at the moment it kind of just looks like the llama and well Lenny and Kowleen are just kind of like on a driveway or something like it kind of looks like this is just I don't know it doesn't look like it's a nice enclosure well not enclosure but a nice little paddock or anything for them so I think that needs some redesigning too at some point all right Trenton I'm gonna need you to maybe scatter some feed I, I don't are you guys hungry? whoa <laughs> hey man he definitely has his bike today is that are you guys hungry clean yeah so you're starving yeah yeah okay so let's get us some more feed okay thank you hey man was that is that fun <laughs> Are we scared? What are you scared of? Oh, the scarecrow. That's so funny. He got spooked and rode his bike inside. All right. Well, now that we're inside. Oh, that's the other thing I want to get. There's a lot of things I want to get. So in the Dream Home Decorator series, I was also getting annoyed by the uh, <laughs> all the vacuuming we had to do. So I think this from Cats and Dogs, very useful with... Uh, Buster dust. Now I don't want to completely get rid of buster dust, though it is kind of annoying. I, I like I like the idea of it, but the fact that we're doing so much else, I don't have time to vacuum. So I think if we just get some automated vacuums around the house, which are not cheap, but this will allow us to I'm gonna say start cleaner routine. We're gonna say also settings auto clean on. So this will start going out around and vacuuming the rest of the house. All right, you don't, you don't need to be too scared, ma'am. Do we have uh, like enough produce to actually make stuff? No, okay. So we've got flour or sugar. Wait, do we have flour? Okay, no, we don't have flour, we have sugar. So maybe we should do a gross, okay, we don't, we don't have money. Let's not do a grocery order. <laughs> we, we don't really have any money. Uh, I guess I don't need this vacuum anymore. I'm just gonna drag and, oh wait, no, I do need it. I need it for the upstairs. Okay, let me go vacuum up here. Okay, so you, do we, are you sure you guys don't have any more eggs for me? Do you have any more milk? You do. Okay, so we have some milk. That's good. Lenny, oh yeah, the other suggestion was, and look, I think this makes sense, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, there's been suggestions that when our chickens are getting old, that we trade them for either, I guess, money, ingredients, produce, or meat. Meat was actually the suggestion, but I don't know how I feel about sending my chicken away and getting meat, even though it's technically not supposed to be the same chicken. I, I don't know how I feel about that option, but we could do one of these other options, like when they're old, not for this one. Oh wait, you are an older, I guess. Uh, I guess, I don't know, we don't really know how long, I guess when we get the pop-ups, maybe that's when we decide, but I won't do anything this episode. I'll wait till, um, see what you guys think about about that. All right, so we're doing a bit of milking. You have done a good, va no, you didn't do a good vacuum up here. Never mind. Smother hand chick with love. Aw, we do, hello, okay. Um, as I say, we do- oh, yeah. Oh, they're already all watered. Wait, did these water or did- how did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, these rabbits. So your gardening help enabled and you are 
not helping with gardening. So I need to go talk to you. Socialize. Let's go pet the wild rabbit enthusiastically. I'm sure it'll love that. Now that milk has gone well. I'll put that in the fridge. Now there was also another suggestion to have a separate fridge for stuff that we would sell. But unfortunately it doesn't work that way. Wait, where did my vacuum go? Hello? Is it? Where did it go? It's not on there. <laughs> Hello? The house isn't that big. How did I lose it? Uh... I don't, yeah, unfortunately fridges all share the same inventory. So even if you have a second fridge here, it'd be the same like that. I really wish I separated those out because that'd be good. The chest does have a separate inventory, but obviously if we put fresh produce in there, it's going to go off. So that won't work. Oh, you know, actually I wonder, do coolers have a separate inventory? Wait a second. So th there's these. So these also hold stuff. I'm wondering if that's a separate inventory to the fridge. We'll have to check. Cost money. And then the other thing is the picnic baskets, because they're new. Do these hold stuff? Does this keep stuff fresh for longer? I don't know. We're going to have to do some testing on that. I don't know where my vacuum went. Um, it is gone. <laughs> I spent $500 on this vacuum and it's gone. I, I actually legitimately have no... It did has it made it? What are you doing over here? <laughs> what? Why are you vacuuming outside? Oh, I... <laughs> I don't think that's how it's supposed to work. But all right. Okay. It's just, it's going back home. All right. Now, if, <laughs> if I lock the doors for everyone but Chaz and Trenton, will, will that stop that happening? Locked door for everyone but household members. Let's try that. Uh, now, I'm going to forget, and I apologize. I'm going to forget that I locked these two doors later on. And then I'm going to be mad because someone can't come in the house. So just be prepared for that, please. Okay. Now, oh, hello. Oh, it's Chaz. That's right. Oh, what happened to you? Why are you so shadowy? Are you okay? Why is this color so weird? Oh, uh, hello. What? Um, if I go upstairs, he disappears. <laughs> what is happening in this game? Oh, Lord. All right. Let's, um, <laughs> okay. He's back. He's <laughs> back to normal. Let's chat about this. Let's keep befriending that now. Caroline, how are you doing? Are you, you're full and happy. The shed is good. Uh, this shed needs to be some more feed. Lenny is looking pretty good too. Uh, I will also sh give you a shear. Okie dokie, little wild rabbits. We will also socialize. We'll, we'll show a dance move. You know, we want to become friends. We want to be friends. So you can help. Whoa, yeah. So you can help with gardening. Now, are we friends with these birds yet? I don't think so. No. So we have to become friends with the birds so they can help with the bugs. So it seems like you definitely like carrots which do we have any like i know we're growing them but i think they died at some point so i had to wait for them all to regrow carrot plant yeah so they're definitely not available yet which is fine so there's some sparkles is something ready to be uh, evolved also yeah oh yeah so the other thing was uh, you guys are saying that the golden uh hands and that can help make your pa uh, plants like perfect quality which i mean yeah we already did that like with the golden throb thing like you can see all these are perfect quality. I don't think it's going to make any difference anymore except for the new plants, obviously like this one here. So I don't know if we'll, what we'll do about, that. I don't know. We don't, we can just make like golden eggs on toast and then he can do it himself too. So I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we go. I'll take the gift that you're offering me and then I'm going to give you a gift. Oh, you gave me an egg. Thank you. Can I actually probably give wool? Oh, you don't like wool. Okay. Um, I don't have any gifts to give you. Is that, is that okay? <laughs> I don't have anything to give you. All right, Trenton, how are you doing? You're do oh, okay. <laughs> He's not doing well. Um, okay, let me socialize with you a little bit. Maybe maybe we need to be friends. Pet Lenny, give a treat. You don't have any treats. Oh my gosh, this llama is so mad at him. Okay, you've got some friendly treats. Maybe that's what you need to do. No, do not pet Lenny. That's not a good idea. He is, he's got a punching club. You give treat. Yeah, friendly treat. That, that'll, that'll solve our problems. Now Chaz, back over there, can keep... Oh, ask for gardening help, actually. There we go. There you go. Oh, you are actually patting him. Okay, that's surprising. Gardening help enabled. Fantastic. Now you, Trenton's unlocked a friendly treat. I need you to go talk to the birds. I think they... No, no, give them an egg. I think they might like wool. Because, I mean, surely. Because then they could make... Like nests and stuff, right? So that'd be good. All right, so you've had some friendly treats. Now let's hug. Oh, hugging might be a bit much, but we'll see what happens. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Oh, there you go, Lenny. How is um, Hannibal doing, by the way? I haven't really been over here today. You're pretty good. Um, any eggs? No eggs. Yeah, so Hannibal's in a good mood. That's, that's nice. Okay, you've gone to the toilet for some reason. All right. <laughs> I have no idea if... Did they like the wool? They did. Okay, great. Good, because I, I didn't see what happened there. So I'll take their gift, and then I'll go admire, and we will socialize, and I'll sing. <sighs> I know that they love my singing, so we'll do all that. Now back over to you. Are we able to... Uh-oh. Okay, so... Like I said, I won't do it this time, but in the future, depending on what you guys think, if we should trade them away, um, we'll do whatever that 
comes out of it. Look, I don't want to upset anyone by trading chickens for meat. So I don't think we'll do the meat option, but we could do simoleons or ingredients and stuff, you know. All right, Shia Lenny's wall. It should be good now, maybe. There you go. How's over here? Do we have enough feed? We do. Okay, good. Six llama wall. Fantastic. Oh, we got a gift. One fishing volume two. Cool. Alrighty, so now you... Got some eggs in here actually as well. Wait, why are you starving still? Okay, I need to put some more food down. Uh, ask for gardening help. Okay, cool. So you got four eggs as well. Okay, so we should actually be able to make some food here. Eggs and toast. Here we go. Single serving? That's all I can make? Oh, hang on. You've got another egg. Let me put that in here. We got that as a gift. That should be enough. Eggs and toast. Oh, we're gonna make a party size. Yeah! Let's go party size and then we can just eat leftovers for like 20 days. Alright, so we're singing to the birds. It's all good. The rabbit's here. Now, I haven't done anything with the bees. I should have a look at it. Gardening help enabled. Alright. This flock of wild birds will try help Chaz with gardening. They'll be delighted to eat any bugs infesting nearby plants. Now, it says nearby. I'm not sure what the range is. Like, I, I'm wondering if we need to put them like in the middle. Like if they were here. Because we're going to ex extend the farm this way. Like, I wonder if the rabbits and the birds need to be here, or if that's enough. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, now, uh, you do need to go to the bathroom. So why don't you go use the beautiful outhouse that we have? There we go. Why is this toilet never flushed? <laughs> why is it never flushed? And what are you doing here? <laughs> Leave me alone. All righty. Trenton, I'm making some food for us all. He's thinking about his brother that he hasn't spoken to <laughs> since they moved in together. Don't worry. We're going we're gonna to rectify that now. So Chaz, he actually did... You know, flush the toilet, which is good. Now go here. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna say you, what is this? Tradition complete. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you grab a serving and then you grab a serving and then you sit here. I don't know how this works. Like the table is set, but like, okay. Are you guys gonna sit and eat or? What is with Sims and eating? Like why is it, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna stand here. Like, <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Is it because this is on the table? I mean, I assumed if the, t what is happening now? How many, wait, how many plates are here? Right, okay. Um, I'm just going to delete that because they're worth $0 anyway. This is apparently $66. It obviously used to be a plate. Okay, that's fine. And now if they're out of the way, what is this? Why is this on the floor? Let me put that in the fridge. You guys want to sit down, please? Sit. Oh, that is your food. Okay. okay. No, oh my gosh. Okay. You eat. Why is this so difficult? Now you sit. There you go. Look at this. Eat. And now deep conversation. Yeah. Here we go! <laughs> Isn't this nice guys? Just us, all three brothers here next to each other enjoying a beautiful meal. Uh, oh, sorry, am I, am I my hands in your food here? Is that, is that a problem? <laughs> Alright, well you've already finished your food, so there you go. Well look, they've had a good chat, so there you go. Okie dokie, that's great, that's good. We've made some progress. You got some llama wool, which I'm gonna give to Chaz, and then Chaz is... Uh, good. Okay, so I guess everything kind of useful is... Oh gosh, she's gonna use the outside sink. <laughs> no! Everything actually kind of useful is gonna come tomorrow. I am very curious to see how these crops go. Now, I only have the minor growth fertilizer, which to this day, I still don't know how that works. How's all this? Um, I think this is already all taken care of. So I don't think I need to do anything here. Oh, you know what I totally forgot to do last episode and I realized in editing? So I need a cutting of the strawberry. Oh, why is it little again? Wait, do we have another one? Spinach, strawberry, here we go. Take a cutting of that and also the snapdragon. Oh, I guess I just planted the snapdragon though, didn't I? Wait, where is the snapdragon? Is it one of these? Oh, there. Okay, so I might have to wait for this. Looks like I can evolve those mushrooms. Wait, um, yeah, so I need the cutting. I don't think, can I, I can't graft it. Well, no, I have to wait till it grows, then I can graft it. Okay, so once this is grown, which by the way, uh, Bird of Paradise, are they in here? I need to organize this better. Is this harvestable yet? No, okay, we'll have to wait. Because I'll fertilize um, with that. All right, that's fine. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll try and remember to do that today. All right, you can go to sleep. You are pretty good. I would say they can hang out and watch TV, but honestly, we don't have a TV or any money for that. So we're just gonna go to bed. <laughs> oh, I grew into a golden chicken. Oh, is it becoming autumn? Oh, I should. <laughs> I know I put this here ages ago. I just put it in the middle. Let me maybe just move this so it's not in the middle of the pathway. I'll put it on this side because there's more room on this side. And then this one can go on this side. The leaves are beginning to fall. So we did miss the uh, garden fair, I think, because that was, we actually saw that in the Dreamheim Decorator Let's Play. But this week is finally the oversized crop fair. So we're hoping that these are going to be good. 
I guess I don't have any super vitality fertilizer though, so they're probably not gonna be that good, but we'll see. Um, hang on a second. Why seven out of eight? Why is this chicken not in there? All these chickens are assigned to this. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on with you. Let's go give, no, no, no. Uh, just feed because you're starving and unhappy. And I don't know why, I don't know why you're not going in because it does say there's only seven out of eight in there. So I'll give you some food because apparently you're starving. Here you go. So that should solve that. Oh, and you're coming too. Okay, well, I wasn't feeding everyone. Guys, what the heck? What is this? I wasn't feeding everyone. I was just feeding you. I guess I'll scatter some more feed then just so everyone has enough. Okay. Alrighty, well, <laughs> that is what it is. Let's go back to sleep. Now, let's go check on Hannibal. Just make sure. I think I think it's fine. It's inside. Fortunately, Santa has escaped. <laughs> okay, let's see. So this one is still outside. I don't know why. I'm hoping when we leave the lot and come back, it'll just kind of fix itself. That's my, that's my theory. Oh no, there it goes. Okay, it's all in. Okay, we're good. We're good. Maybe it might have just been outside because it was quite hungry. All right, Trenton, go use that. And then we'll take a shower now as well. I guess I probably didn't need to take a steamy shower. Oh, that should definitely be an auto light out here. Clean out spoiled food. And then let's also get some leftovers. Ooh, feeling flirty. Let's go. Oh, also I should probably say choose a new umbrella. You can have the watermelon one. That's fun. So over here. Oh, it's actually raining anyway. So we don't even. Oh, it's going to be fun to swamp today. I was going to say, we don't even need a water. I wanted to see the sprinklers work and make sure it actually waters everything. Thing, but we won't know now. Okay, this farm is dark. I think we might need some more lights on this farm. Let me go clean the shed and we'll clean that shed too. We'll get, we'll get some, some farm work done nice and early. Well, Chaz is nice and cozy in bed. Well, super vitality fertilizer, fantastic. Oh yeah, I definitely want to get another bin between these two sheds because even that is quite a long walk just to empty those. Man, it is a rough day on the farm today. Well, at least these should be good. Now, Chaz, I'm going to get you to... I guess we're going to... We're still going to have to water the inside here because all this stuff won't be automatically watered. Uh, something is ready to evolve. I'm not sure what because none of it's sparkling. I mean, it is sparkling, but not... I don't know. All right, well, let's go... Uh, I'll be happy also when we get the tend garden option because that makes it a lot easier. Whoa! <laughs> makes it a lot easier to... Uh, oh, the, oh, you know what? No, no, no. The rabbits do help in here. That's fantastic. <gasps> That's so good. I don't even have to weed in here. We'll still have to water in here though, obviously, but I mean, I don't have an option to water, so I think we're okay. Weed. The rabbits are still taking care of that, which is fantastic. Uh, I do want to harvest the birds of paradise. So I'll grab that. You are uh... good. Yeah. Uh, now, vote on one neighborhood action plan. Well, that's not going to happen. So I think we might, <laughs> we might need to change his aspiration. Maybe I should just do the caretaker as well. The country caretaker, because I feel like we're not going to do all that eco lifestyle stuff. Because I would like, if we can get him 8,000 points, so we can get him the thing that's like never scared, that'd be great. Oh, I still haven't foraged five things. Okie dokie. So now, how far did you actually get? Did we actually clean all this stuff? We did. Okay, that's fine. Wait, did you clean the coop? Let me just check. You did. All right, I collect the eggs though. And you're also going to need to clean this coop and collect. Oh, wait, there's no bin out here. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Collect the eggs first, then clean the coop. Because otherwise, you'll have to, you know, it'll be rough. All right, it's all right. You'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be fine, dude. Just enjoy the storm. Okay, so how are we going in here? So we're going to harvest those. Yeah, that's good. And then I'm going to need you to fertilize. Oh, oh it's re recently fertilized. Wait, what do I want to fertilize? Oh, the snapdragon. Can I fertilize that? Yes. Because the snapdragon, I want that to grow as quick as possible, ideally. Maybe even the strawberry bush too. We'll fertilize that, sure. So yeah, I guess, the, yeah, the bees will probably be useful in here, right? Now, I... Whoa! Oh, jeez. I got Phyraxium, which is rare. Okay. Um, cool. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Whoo. All right. So now these have bugs on it. I'm going to assume the birds don't want to be flying around in a thunderstorm. So I don't know that this is going to work. Like, I, I don't, we can't test the birds today because, okay, maybe it was a good idea to stay inside today. <laughs> All right. So you've got some produce. Let me chuck these in the fridge now. There we go. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is bro is this gonna start a fire out here? Did that give me anything? Because it usually does drop stuff, but I don't see anything in there. <laughs> Man, the weather is rough, dude. Alright, so yeah, you can go and you can go inside now, I think, after you've done that. Um probably for the best. So you take that thing, which is worth 160 bucks, apparently. Uh I think everything uh oh, we have a puddle. What is that from? Is that just from do we have a leak in the roof? Is that a thing? What is that from? Oh, maybe just him being wet or something inside. Um, okay, so that's good. <laughs> now, I think, whoops, I think everything is good. Obviously, we can't milk the cow or, or, uh, take care of Lenny today, but that's probably for the best. You can get some leftovers. Let's go over to Chess. Wait, wait, hang on. The fox here. Shoot, get, get out of here, Brody. Ah, oh, sell honey. You know what? The honey would actually be pretty useful. Hang on, let me put on a beekeeper suit and, uh, just collect that honey while I'm here. Because <laughs> I'm gonna guess we could probably use that, right? 
Oh, turtle hatching season, yeah! We could probably use that in some recipes, but to be honest, I'm probably just gonna go sell it. Uh oh, that's okay. You've got a bee suit on, you'll be fine. We only got one out of that though. Quality poor too. We should probably become friends with them. All right, let's, um, oh, it stopped thunderstorming. Okay, well, kind of wish I didn't spray those bugs now because I would be able to see if the birds were gonna help. All right, well, let me open up the fridge. Um, I'm gonna need to grab all the stuff that I'm actually gonna be selling here. All the eggs, basically, and the bottles. Of we really should probably start keeping some milk because it is actually useful to have. I'll keep three bottles. Uh, and then we've got the aubergines, which should be good until this Friday. We're gonna take the 16 kilogram. Oh my gosh, it's so good. 16 kilogram aubergines. All right, so I've got some good stuff to go sell. I don't know why I have strawberries in the fridge, but that's probably for a good thing. Let's go sell all this junk. I mean, quality, quality produce. Okie dokie. So I'm feeling a little tense, so probably won't be able to haggle today, but we need to get some more errands so I can get more upgrade parts because we need those fox uh, alarms on our coops so that we can, you know, obviously chase the foxes away. That'd be good. Let's sell some llama wool. Always keep two for some reason. <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever use it, but always keeping two. All right, so we got some good, good money today. Oh, I couldn't sell you honey, could I? Didn't let me, did it? Huh. I can't sell you the honey, which is interesting. Why not? Seems like I should be able to sell it to a grocery yeah, store. Did I sell it to you? Bad. No. Hmm. Seems like they forgot that honey was a thing in the game and it doesn't let you sell it to them. Anyway, I need to get some, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's right. You need beige wool. Hmm. I guess I might just need to get another llama for that. Unless you, wait, do you just have it? Hang on, let me just, someone just have it. I'll just buy it if someone has it. Here we go, it's two. It's easier than getting a whole new llama. Uh, <laughs> okay. Here is your, oh, oh, that's right. I need lovely and spicy mushrooms. Actually, I think I have, don't I? Have they grown now? Uh, where did the option to deliver the wool go? Why did that disappear as soon as I had it? There you go. All right, here's your beige llama wool. Enjoy, enjoy. So that will take care of this one. There we go. Did you give me an up? Oh, you did give me upgrade part. Fantastic, thank you. Do you have any more that would give me upgrade parts? Kim doesn't have any errands for me right now. Oh, okay. Well, what about you? I don't even, what? Okay, let's go introduce myself to Agnes. What's up, Agnes? All right, well, do you need any help with errands? And also, I will do them in exchange for upgrade parts. Rewards, special fertilizer. Rewards, oversized crop seeds fertilizer and a chance to receive a berry. Oh, and a cross stitch pattern. Man, Agnes, you suck. What about the, what about the pub owner? Hello? Oh, I haven't actually met you yet in the merged timeline. Okay, you didn't have to come over to me. I'm, I'm more than happy. Wait, what? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, there's a glitch that... <laughs> There's a glitch in the timeline. No. Uh, uh, uh oh. We need to prune one of the Agnes's. And the, the weird thing is that they're both listed as a grocery shop owner. Um, okay. Right. Okay. Well, we'll just. Uh, uh, there's too many Agnes variants. All right. Let's go, go talk to the pub owner, please. Oh, okay. I just rode straight in. Oh, wow. Nice renovations you got in this pub. I don't know if you guys noticed, but they've had some fantastic renovations in here. Almost like a, okay, I just left my bike there. Oh no, there we go. <laughs> it's almost like some sort of interior designer came in here and uh, did it up for you. All right, any any errands that will give me some upgrade parts, please. A new drink recipe, cooking ingredients, freshly prepared meal, grocery delivery coupon, a flour crusted pan, um, local meal, some berries, an upgrade part. That's the one we want. All right, so what do you actually want? Be a good neighbor, have a hand for heart to heart with three and do you count as one of them? <laughs> can I have a Hanford heart to heart with you? Yeah, Hanford heart to heart. I haven't had a chance at a proper chin wag recently with some of the other locals. So I'm gonna send you in as my steed. Catch up on what's been happening. Okay, I'm, so if I'm catching up on what's been happening with the locals, does it count if I catch up with you? Oh, hello. Thanks for just butting in. I'm gonna go out on the limb and say that did not count. All right. I'm gonna have a heart to heart with you. Uh, the pub owner said, you know what my nan used to say? Oh, that's, I said that with the wrong intonation. But you know what my nan used to say? <laughs> when times are hard, she'd say, this too shall pass. Oh, that's a classic phrase. Okay, I need to have a heart to heart with you and the grocery deliverer. Oh, I don't know you either. Old Mill Lane in Old New Hanford received its name after the mill was built here in Finchwick. People still call the mill, people still call the mill in the village, the new mill. But by this point, it's older than almost anyone living here. Cool, let right, me have a heart to heart with you. And then I don't know which Agnes variant you are, but I'm gonna have a heart to heart with you as well. Chuckleberries can be hard to find. That's common knowledge. What they don't know is that there are some growing on the Isle of Volp in the Bramblewood. Shh, don't tell anyone. Well, it's all right. I found them a few weeks ago. Where do you get seeds? Well, obviously from the Crumple Bottom Garden stall in Finchwick. Thank you. Okay, so I seem to have just gotten some upgrade. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Wait, what? Didn't I just complete that thing? One of the best things are living in. Wait, what? Thanks for checking with the few Where's my upgrade part? You said I'd get an upgrade part for that. That's the only reason I did that. 
What the heck? What the heck? That was rude. Look, you better give me my upgrade part. I'm going to be mad. That was literally the only reason I wanted to talk to these sad, sad little people. <laughs> Where's my upgrade part? You better deliver on that. Huh. Neither of these have any. I also really have to pee. Okay, let me check the delivery boy. Maybe he has one. Hey man, I'm looking for an uh, upgrade part. Do you have any for me? Um, post gas and animal treat and an upgrade part. Yeah, that's what we want. All right, so what do you want me to do? Take a photo outside of Henford on Bagley. What? Chat to the mayor? What the heck is this? All right, take photo. Oh, no, no, not of. Just take a photo. Take photo. Photography's terrible. Should he gain dislike? No. What? All right, so, so take a photo outside of Henford on Bagley. All right, well, what can we take a photo of? But the mayor sitting on the table over there. There you go. <laughs> the worst photo. Travel somewhere outside Henford on Bagley. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Right, okay, so I probably should have read the description. It says, it just says take a photo outside of Henford on Bagley, which I took to mean outside, not like outside of... Right, well, I'll do that later. We have to travel somewhere else and talk to them. Okay, so we need to talk to the mayor. Chat about mayor. What, why are you asking me to do this? Like, this is your task that you gave me, just to talk to you about your mom. He's like, I just really want to talk to someone about my mom, okay? It's it's a rough life I live. So, what's going on with you and your mom? Not much? Okay. Uh, oh, I have to make a cross stitch, finally! I actually have a reason to do Okay, let's go home. Wait, I've been gone for a long time. And also, uh, Brody, no, oh, Brody, no. I'm doing the thing where I call my sims the wrong name. And also, Chaz really has the P. Okie dokie. So you come back here, Chaz. Um, you should hopefully make it to the toilet. Now, Trenton's in a pretty good mood. Farm's looking good. Let's go scatter some feed for the chickens. Uh, and then we don't have any more eggs. It's all clean. That's good. We might call over Kowleen so we can give Kowleen a milk and a clean. Chaz is uh, going to make it. Quick. Fantastic. I'm gonna say you can take a shower after you have a wee and then get some leftovers for breakfast too because you're hungry. And then we'll uh, do the stuff. We need the mushrooms, which I think we do have now, don't we? We've got spicy. Oh no, the lovely aren't quite grown yet. Not just yet. They'll, they'll come back soon though. Okay, we have a fox, which is fine. It's over that side. The chicken's all over here. All right, hang on. You need to clean, clean, and then milk. Yeah, and you're full, so that's all good. Cool. And then we'll call out Lenny and we'll do the same. The chickens are looking good. We've got four golden chickens. That's pretty epic. I guess I should probably finish naming them because <laughs> half of them don't have names. So popular suggestion was Cluck Norris, which I guess, well, first of all, it's a great name. It doesn't really work for a, a hen though. It should probably be the rooster, right? White rooster, here we go. Yeah, yeah, Name the white rooster. There we go, Cluck Norris. Oh yeah, so another one for hens was Henmione. <laughs> That's a good one. Could do Hansel as well. It's beautiful. Okay, so where are we up? We got Hansel, White Hen, Henmine, Cluck Norris, Henrietta, Golden Hen, and then Hen Chick. Okay, so we can start. I still got three. I need a name. There was oh another one. Another one I like. Oh, you're an elder though. Oh. I guess some of these are probably gonna be getting old. So okay, maybe we gonna do the chick because it'll last longer. <laughs> The whole last song that's so sad. Uh, Rihanna. <laughs> I love that suggestion. That's so good. <laughs> it's just, I just saw a funny name. Hang on. It doesn't really fit with our other naming suggestions, but I like it. Delegracy. <laughs> I know all the other ones have like hen in it, but I mean, that's pretty funny. Okay, so I have one more, right? The uh, Elder White Hen, which I think is actually going to die soon, which is uh, rough. You got to handle. There we go. All right, so they should all be named now, I think. Let me just check. Uh, also, there is definitely a fox running along. Hansel, Handel, Henmine, Henrietta, Cluck, Norris, Del Agrisi, Brianna, and Hannibal. Fantastic. <laughs> Okie dokie. So you are taking care of that. Chaz is currently doing the shower, and then he'll have something to eat. That's fantastic. Over here, all this stuff is watered and weeded, which is great too. Little rabbits there helping out. Um, now, I think all of the stuff in here is good. I don't think I need to do any watering. I keep checking, but I'm not seeing any that need to be watered. Even though it looks like they need to be watered, I'm not seeing any that do need to be watered. So we'll leave that. Okay, so how are you going over there? Is that all good? Candle? No. We didn't milk... Oh no, we're milking now. Okay, cool. Then I'm gonna go over here and clean Lenny. And then we'll shear Lenny's wool. Six bottles of milk. Fantastic. And then I should probably, now we got a bit of money. Let's get the cross stitch kit. Again, I know we did buy it in the last house, but I never ended up using it. So let's get a couch. Let's maybe do a living room. I could buy more stuff for the farm. I would like to, obviously, but I think maybe we should have a living room. <laughs> I think maybe we should have somewhere to like, you know, wind down a little bit. This is, a, this is also a huge room. I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna get a fireplace. Oh my god, the fi I forgot the fireplaces are so big. 
in this back. That'll go there so it lines up with the actual chimney. Very nice. I mean, I guess it doesn't line up with the couch. I'm wondering, should we turn this into like two smaller rooms maybe? Is this too big? This whole place. Because this room is kind of random. It was just kind of here. Let's go for I like that one. And we'll get a coffee table, which will be. Because it probably shouldn't be a two by two. That's probably too big. What about this one? Does this have good colors? Not really. <laughs> no. Oh, maybe the cats and dogs one could work. Oh, hey, my window. Uh, this whole room is a little rough, so please don't judge. I just don't want to spend too much money on stuff we don't really need to right now. Because, uh, I mean, the rest of the house is empty as well. You know, like, it's, it's still not looking great out here. Can I get... I want to, I want to fill up this farm. You know what? Let's, um, oh, this is as bright as it goes. I was like, let's fix the farm. So we actually have the five rows. And then from there, we can start spending more money. Wait, how wide is this thing? It's kind of hard to see. Is that right? Yeah. From there, then we can start filling out all the sprinklers as well. So these are just going to run down this road, nice and cheap. So this is how wide this thing is going to be. That means I'm going to move patchy actually to line up with the middle like that. So we'll have one of each crop down each of these rows is the idea. And I'm gonna have to move, well, actually I think I'm gonna have to reline everything up here because this, oh, what is with all my doors glitching out just because I built stuff. Because I think I need to realign this because otherwise this greenhouse is not gonna sit properly. Like if I put it here, you can see it doesn't actually line up properly. I also want to move this back so we have a bit more room for pathways. So I'm actually gonna move it maybe back just two. Be fine. I think also the roof is gonna be yeah completely misaligned. So we'll fix that. So we'll slide the roof back here. Oh, cool. I love how the windows didn't move with it. Fantastic. <laughs> That's just that's just great, isn't it? Oh, these are also not even painted up here. There we go. Now it is. All right, so these go here and whoops and here. Perfect. And go. I I think this greenhouse is great. I'm so I'm so happy with how this greenhouse turned out. Like way better than I thought it would, to be honest. It's so cool. The terrain paint's a little scuffed now. That's okay. We'll just move some of this stuff around. But now the good thing is this gives us more space here for like a little pathway and then having a separate uh, farm area. So what I would like to do is we're going to leave two tiles. So you can see it's actually like one full tile there and half tile there. So two tiles around the size for this hedge. That's how that's going to line up. We'll do the same over here, over there. Then we can have some sort of uniformity. And I'm wondering, maybe I should just move the rabbit homes and stuff up here. We need to decorate this so it looks better because it looks a little silly just having random, and like the birds will go here as well. Like it looks a bit silly just having random tree stumps here. So I think we might have to do something around that maybe. Maybe we can um, just get some like plants or something. The other thing is we don't want to look, because we're going to do another whole set of crops here as well. So we don't, we also don't want it to be like these shrubs isolating all this too much. And we also, first of all, we're going to have, whoops, not that much. going to have some nice mud around this section here too. Now there was a suggestion just to do sort of like stepping stone kind of things. Uh, we might be able to do it with terrain paint. Maybe not those ones. I think maybe just like these. Mm, no. <laughs> hmm. See, I would like to just have individual stepping stones and there are like these and rugs, but they're just so round. Like why does it have to be like perfectly round? So it's like this one, which is like perfectly rectangular, but I don't think that works either. So there's these from Snowy Escape, but I think they're all just, yeah, they're just moss instead of, like I just want little stepping stones that we could place. Is there something like that? I feel like there is, but I don't recall. So maybe let me know in the comments below about what we could do. I know there was a suggestion about doing the stepping stones, which I would like to do. So we'll try and see how we go with that. I want to put the bees over here. No, I'll, put, I'll keep them over this side. Otherwise they're too far away. Very yellow for the bees. Beautiful. Now, yeah. So I do want to have a pond. I think we could probably do... So we'll probably keep the animals around here. This is a good kind of spot. They'll probably end up moving a little bit. And then if the crops are here, the pond would have to go here in the middle somewhere. And I'm thinking probably here would be good, just sort of behind that tree. So if we go, let me turn the grid on here. Well, I don't know if that grid actually makes it easier or harder. <laughs> so we're going to do it here. And what we'll do now is we'll use the beautiful pond tool. And let's just see... Yeah, because if we go higher, it kind of looks a little silly. Like with the edges, it becomes like really square and rough. So I think that height is the height we want. And then I'll use this tool here just to sort of, whoops, level out the bottom of the lake a little bit and just sort of bring it around. I mean, just something like that, to be honest, is probably fine, at least for now. And then we can always change it later or, or whatever. So we want the water to be, which one do we want? There's this one, there's, that's the same one. There's this one, there's this one. I think that one's probably good. I quite like that. Now, how much are the uh, the pond effects? Are these free? Are they 10 bucks? Come on. Do we have alligators in here? They're 50 bucks for alligators? Well, we need a log. I feel like we need that. So let's get one of those in. And we need some lilies. And we need definitely some ducks or swans. Should we get swans? Get some swans there. Beautiful. Now the fishing sign, I think if we put here, then we can stock this little pond with fish. So and then we could fish in it if we wanted. So we'll do that. Obviously, I want to do more decoration. I mean, this is all work in progress. It's expensive. There were comments saying that we could use like the debug stuff, like debug landscaping and bushes and all that. 
I don't really want to do that. Uh, I know we started off a series in the alleyway, which was all debug stuff. So we have definitely done it, but I don't think I want to spend time doing all that to then just remove it and replace it with actual plants. Cause that's what I will want to do. So I think I'll just sort of leave that for now. Like, I think we'll just slowly fill this all up with actual um, plants and all that. Do a little bit of painting around the lake or the pond. It's definitely not a lake. It's a little small for that, I think. <laughs> the lightning where it struck there, it's all dark. Do a little bit of grass painting as well, like a darker color. I don't know. Just a little, it's like a, it's all work in progress. It, it's gonna keep. It's gonna keep changing as we keep going. Uh, whoa! Those are way bigger than I thought they were. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're swans. Um, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. They look great, but I think maybe I might move them a little further back. That's a bit better. Yeah, look how alive our beautiful farm is. We got all these birds over here. We got rabbits jumping around. We got bees. We got a fox over there. This is actually so cool. The chickens, we got the cows and the llama. Well, the cow and llama. Now, uh, can we do any of these? No, we don't have those. We need, oh, I need to give the rabbit report to the creature creeper. Let me just call that guy over real quick. That's pretty easy to do. Where's the creep? What? How do I not know him? How do I li How is it? Why does the game keep doing that? Damn it, I can't call him. It's so annoying. The game like just keeps deciding that you forget people and it's like, nah, nah, you don't know them. Nah, it's fine. All right, where's this guy's house? I always lose it every single time. I think it's here. Here it is. All right, focus on the creature creeper. All right, let's go. Please don't move. Friendly, how do I not? I literally have a task from you. How do I not know you? <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, let's cycle over there. Here we go. Okay. Wee! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> And here we are. Good. He didn't actually move. Often times they run across, halfway across the map and then you have to chase him again. Hey, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Uh, I got an errand from you, but I, I know we just met, so I don't know how that happened. Okay. I would again. I would like to zoom in more on them, but you can't when they stand there. It's really annoying. We can only view from behind. All right. Feels me with joy to see you bonding with the local wildlife and giving atten them attention while I was busy elsewhere. Please enjoy this assortment of odds and ends. All right. What did you give me? Give me an upgrade part? Nope. Can you get me some chicken sweater, some strawberries, some beige wool, an onion? Okay, well, there's a few. Hey, there's a few good things there. Do you have... No, I don't want trade berries. Um, Do you have... You don't have any more errands for me? Where's your errands? Doesn't have any errands. Okay, well, screw you then, dude. Oh, actually, while I'm here, I have to forage in the bramble wood. I was about to leave, but... Is that a plant? No, that's nothing. Is that a... No. Is that... No. Are there any plants around? There should be, but... The problem is I haven't been here in so long, and now that we have seasons... That's not a plant. Now that we have seasons, some of the plants that were here probably aren't even in season anymore. But here's one. Does taking a cutting count as foraging? Because <laughs> I have to, for my aspirations, there's forage five items. Locate a harvest wool, hidden in the woods, and collect. No, I have to collect it. Damn it. Okay, so taking a cutting is probably not going to count. Uh, so I know there's stuff up here, usually. Take a... I'm fine. I'm going to try taking a cutting and see what happens. It doesn't count. Okay, never mind. I thought maybe just because otherwise we're going to have to wait here a long time until stuff grows, which is going to be rough. And it may potentially never happen. Like I may never wait here for that. <laughs> so that might just not happen. All right. Well, let's before we end up today, let's finally, finally do a cross stitch. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> OK, Woo man. OK, I didn't think this would be that expensive. OK, let's uh, simple. Small. Man, I thought the wool would be cheaper. I guess we need all the colors. Right, okay. Uh, 55 bucks, man. All right, fine. Let's do the cross stitch. And I have to give a chocolate pie to the grocery deliverer. So using chocolate berries, cook a chocolate pie and give it to the grocery deliverer. She has only level five cooking skill to be able to make it. What is my cooking skill? Oh, it is level five. Okay. So what do I actually need? Also, they really should have just made it bake a pie. Because cook a pie is really... Like, they added, I know baking was added in Get to Work, but they could have added new baking recipes. So, I don't know. It just seems weird. I'm sorry. It's like how all the cakes are in cooking, even though it's clearly baking. Blueberry pie. Okay. Um, raspberry pie. Man, these sounds so good. You know what they need? They need a search in here because there's so many things now. Chocolate pie. Okay, so I've got everything I need except for egg, which... Do you have any eggs? Do we, do we harvest any additional egg? No. Are there any additional eggs? No. Are there any here? There are. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we're going to be using an obsidian egg for the pie. Is that okay? Finally, acquire, acquired cross stitching. Chaz has their 14 count Ida cloth at the ready. I don't know what that means. Obviously some cross stitching terminology, but good for him. All right, you go get some leftovers. You can now stitch rainbows, shapes, and stick figures. We all have to start somewhere. All right. So you do your little cross stitch thing. Yep. Okay. You already took out a leftover. Let me put that back in the fridge. Let me get rid of that one. Oh, look at this. The two brothers hanging out together. 
You know what? So he, uh, Trenton, in case you don't know, he is uh, the son of Brody and an alien abduction. <laughs> But the funny thing is, he pretty much just looks like Brody, like his face. This obviously is human disguise, but it looks pretty much the same as Brody. So there you go. That's probably why Chaz doesn't really like looking at Trenton, because he just sees his father and he hates his father. So, you know, it's sad. It's, you know, it's quite sad, but it is what it is. All right, I'm going to let you clean that up. And then can you mop this up, please? How is Lenny? I'm going to go shear some of Lenny's wool. Coop is slightly dirty, so it's clean and collect eggs. Are you? How's this cross stitch going, by the way? Is that is that good? Okay, so we completed the cross stitch. Fantastic. So now, wait, do I have to, does it say deliver to them? Deliver the cross stitch. Oh, what? No, I wanted to keep it. It was my first one. What the heck? All right, let's cook. I want to see. Can I just, also, this should be a filter to just show what I can actually make. So I can hide all the stuff, just so I can find stuff quicker. Chocolate pie. Oh, what? Are you telling me an obsidian egg doesn't count? What the heck? What's wrong with an obsidian egg? <laughs> right, fine. Well, Trenton's got more eggs anyway. <laughs> Three golden... Oh, no. Is it golden... I have too many, like, special eggs. I don't think I can make stuff with them. <laughs> Hang on. I can't. I can't make it because it has a... I need regular eggs. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Well, let's... Uh, you go to sleep. Uh, Brody, you go to sleep as well. I think that's going to do us uh, today on the farm. Now, we do have weeds. We're going to... I want to wait till tomorrow morning because we... Got, oh, it's raining again. I just want to see if these sprinklers work. Damn you, British countryside. Because it means all the plants are going to be watered automatically anyway. Wait, what are you doing awake? Oh, are you going to go admire some decor? Yeah. Right. Okay. I need a Roomba up here as well. It's rough. Yeah, yeah. Go to sleep, please. Okay, so coming to... 5 a.m. 6 a.m. They should all turn on. None of these crops look particularly good, by the way. Like, I guess I didn't fertilize any of them. I'm just trying to see what happens if we leave them. Trenton is awake. Oh, he's going to have a shower. That's fine. So it's 5 a.m. So they do look like... Well, they don't... Sorry, they look like they don't need watering because I can't water them. But 6 a.m. I think these turn on. Well, that looks so good. The lighting on this. Why does this look so good right now? Doesn't that look epic? Is that just me? I just think that looks so good with that light, the lighting right now. Oh, here we go. Okay, so now... So all I'm really wanting to see here is we should see them dropping. Oh, here are the birds. The birds, I think, would have had any of the bugs that were there. Okay, so the sprinklers are on. Rabbits are here. Now, none of them are dripping with water. Oh, here are the birds as well. Okay, rabbits are over there. Okay. The rabbits should hopefully eat all the wheat. We might need to get more rabbits. So the birds are definitely reaching all the crops down this end as well, which is fantastic. They seem like they're all in range. This sprinkler is still going. I'm not sure what's happened with that i'm just gonna leave it okay well i think i mean i think it's working i mean none of them need watering so i think that's probably why they're not showing the animation of it now in here oh i've got the mushrooms oh yes finally okay well hang on i'm getting carried away this has been such i've been recording for a long time right now <laughs> but look look at it this looks so good i'm so excited we got the pond we got the greenhouse and the farm the two animal sheds the uh, <laughs> evil chicken up the back i am so excited for this this is like really coming together like step by step every episode of making progress i'm really really excited hey my roof isn't fully on there we go uh i'm really excited to get all the crops planted i'm also really excited to hopefully i guess what what should well we need to furnish the house too but i don't know if that's really the priority i want to make the llama and the cow have a nicer area as well i think not i don't know i guess they don't necessarily need to be fenced in but it might look better if they are um, also, I bet a chicken coop area would probably be good too. So, I don't know. There's some changes to make. The house is still at the front of the lot. I did obviously have put a lake there. I'm not sure. Should we move the house further back? And maybe have some sort of like formal, really fancy flower garden in front of the house? Maybe that would be a nice idea. Uh, obviously, we'll have to move the pond. But that, I mean, that's not hard. That's free anyway to do that. But let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is so much fun. I love, I love every episode of this. Uh, and I can't wait to do more. I really want to turn that chicken coop into like fort, like a fort kind of situation. Have like a big iron fence around it and all that. Just because it's funny. <laughs> Not because the evil chicken's really doing anything. It's just kind of hanging out. Uh, but I think it'd be fun. Next episode as well, uh, I will we'll put that fox alarm on. We, we can do it on one of them, but we won't be able to do it on the other one until we get more upgrade parts. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.